लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स के लिए सब्सक्राइब करें नेशनल बस और साथ ही दबाएं बेल आइकन I'm Aruna Singh, and uh, I'm very, very glad. I'm very grateful to Ramnik Ji for having given us this opportunity to come here. Uh, I was just having a little chat with him, and I understood that this is a platform primarily for women to get together, get to know each other. A great networking platform. Um, he was also talking about that this is a platform, and you know they are into helping people strategize about how to grow their business. Um, I have come here today. and before i give you an introduction about what is it that we are doing let me give you a brief introduction brief i would try to be brief brief introduction about who we are what is it that we do and what is it that we do has come out of uh, our experiences which has made and i when i say i when i say we i would want to invite my younger sister and also my partner anupma Five years younger to me, Hi. but life has kind of taken you know both of us. We are very very different from each other, extremely different from each other. Uh, not just looks wise, she is the prettier one. She always was <laughs> the prettier one in the family, but otherwise also uh, we are very different. But life has taken us through kind of a similar uh, you know um, um, journey. journey that you know we have been through. Both of us we got married very young. both of us we had love marriages both of us we have been working almost all our lives i have come from a background wherein i was in finance industry i have worked in india as well as in usa and having worked in finance industry in india um i my last position was heading the western union business in india that was my last position Uh, this young lady here she was heading the skill industry one of the largest partners of government of india in skilling industry she was heading that business 2018 beginning i was diagnosed with cancer very very advanced stage of cancer and uh, the entire life kind of took a you know different turn at that point of time it has taken me one year i am fully cured now my cancer is in remission had to undergo different surgeries etc etc so it was a very difficult time for me personally more so because i had to stay at home and that is something which i had never done all my life and at the same time we talk about women empowerment this young lady here was also going through her own personal journey 25 years of abusive marriage and she had the guts to decide that no more i'm moving out of this Yeah. <laughs> so after that, what we did was, as we came out of our personal turmoils, we decided that you know, I personally thought that life has given me so much all my life. You know, been been you know, traveled across the country, etc. And I thought that not just the country, the entire world, having worked at different places, I thought this was the time wherein I wanted. I have been given a chance to do something for the community. to give back to the community and i thought you know this was my chance now and i'm very glad that you know she decided she was already going through her own journey and she decided that okay didi we are going to work together and we're going to do something this is going to make a difference in the lives of people wings for my dreams that is the company that we own now we have started this year only the company is primarily into skilling Anu, you want to talk about what all that we do as far as skilling is concerned. Also, besides the business, we are doing a lot of work as far as women empowerment is concerned and the uh, environmental issues. So these are things which are very very close to our heart. Besides the business, that is something which we are working a lot of things on. So Anu, you want to talk about the business part? Yeah, sure. So I just want to find out: Have you heard of a lady called Anmol Rodriguez? Anybody? Okay, so she is an acid uh, attack survivor. 
and uh, it's not the regular stories that we hear of that the boyfriend the relationship went sore and the boy put acid on her she uh, her father put acid on her when she was 2 months old the mother was breastfeeding and the father didn't want a daughter he hated the sight and he threw acid on both of them this lady today is a survivor her entire face and she is blind from one eye and she is uh, becoming a fashion model she is a muse i mean she is making music on the internet and she has 1 lakh uh, viewers. Uh, viewers on instagram so when you hear stories like these and you just sit back and wonder what is it that is wrong with the society so that is something that we have been talking of and thinking and that is why we are into the women empowerment programs the reason why we are doing this why we are doing into skilling is that everybody cannot be a muser everybody cannot be an aruna singh who can fight cancer and then come back and again start working people need skills people need to know what is it that they can do any kind of skilling another lady that i can think of is uh, mandira from mumbai Uh, so what she does is she is a uh, maid at a society wherein she cooks for five families during the day she starts her day pretty early at about 4:30 in the morning and she goes to the station sells uh, jewelry artificial jewelry in the trains till about 7 o'clock then she goes to the society wherein she cooks in five homes and later in the evening she is a stand up comedian I mean it very very tough to believe yeah. but he, she is so she does that so these kind of skillings these kind of stories is are what we think that are need to be told and uh, we want to give chance to women who actually need these kind of skills and these kind of help and uh, promotion so this is what we are going to be doing and it is not only about women it is skilling is required by everybody education is not enough that is why we are we've gotten into this line so we do a lot of programs which are leading to employment generation so that is what it is so can we talk about programs leading to employment generation it is not only it is not only the downtrodden it is not only the poor people today in india we realize that just a college degree is not enough for any person you you would be seeing that there are so many people who are coming out as mbas and are not able to find a job Right. Yeah, yeah. So many B techs not able to find a job. Uh, when I was working in the corporate world, and sometimes I had to sit at interviews, they would you know request the panel that management also comes and sits in the interviews, and I used to be very very surprised that you know MBAs when they walk in for an interview, they don't know how to conduct themselves. They don't know what to say. They, their body language is so bad, and hundreds and hundreds of them. would come and we would read the newspapers that uh, there there is a position of a peon opened in haryana and there are about one i think yeah. oh, 120 some positions were available and there were more than 8000 applicants for a peon position 8000 applicants and those applicants included engineers included mbas and people were not getting jobs so why is that that is primarily because today the college degree is not enough it is not really giving you any value except a paper that yes you are qualified that you have done this degree beyond that there is no skill set involved there is no confidence building so we are doing a lot of work with colleges with the youth with girls with men with the boys uh, we are doing a lot of corporate trainings also and we are preparing primarily for people to get employed what we are saying is that you do your degree whatever that you think you want to do you do your degree but that degree alone is not going to get you a job there has to be beyond that so like i said we are dealing with different strata of society we are dealing with we are doing a lot of work in you know remote places remote villages like up and bihar where the aspirations are very very different wherein one job for 7 to 8000 rupees a month and once we advertise that job that we have a job opportunity which is going to give 7500 rupees you get hundreds and hundreds of people there hundreds of people are willing to come and work for 7500 rupees but they do not have the necessary skill set so what is it that we are doing we are going to those places and we are training them 
so that they become employable. It is not just charity, of course, there is, it's a business for us, there is a fee involved, but that is what we are doing. The fee structure, etc., is extremely competitive, very, very competitive, very low, it depends on, you know, what, it, what is the kind of work that we are doing. And we are also, like I said, we are also dealing with different strata, so people, we are also, we have tied up with an American Academy for Certification, we are the only organization in India which is offering American certification for the kind of skill sets that we are giving. So there are different sets. Ladies, I would welcome all of you to just go through our website. That is www.wingsformydreams.com. Thank you. National Buzz for latest news or entertainment videos. Dekhne ke liye, subscribe, kare, like, kare, comment, kare, or share. Kare. Thanks for watching.